In this illustration, we intend to simulate the lamination of two composite layers using VCCT method in the Abacus software. Actually, we intend to simulate this article in the Abacus software and compare the results gained from the abacus with those obtained from the article. The article is titled Mode 2 Interlaminar Fracture of Glass Epoxy Multidirectional Laminates. The question describes that two composite plates have been affixed together using paste and are to undergo a three-point bending. Each composite plate is composed of 20 layers. The thickness of each layer is 0.15 mm and with a total length of 160 mm and width of 20 mm. The length of the crack is 25 mm which can be observed in this shape. In this question, VCCT or the same virtual crack closure technique has been utilized in order to simulate the lamination of the composite plates. The composite plate is made of glass epoxy, the properties of which have been described here. In the next step, I will click on create part. I intend to create geometric shape of support. Here I'll select discrete rigid, enter the rough size of the tracing page equal to 0 0.1 and continue. I'll draw a circle, enter its radius equal to 5 millimeters and its length equal to 20 millimeters in this manner. In the next step, I'll click on Assign Material Orientation, select Composite, Done, click on Use Default Orientation or Other Method, and here select axis 3. As you observe, the direction 1 is towards x-axis and direction 2 is towards y-axis. Actually, this means that the fibers are placed directed longitudinally and towards x-axis. I'll select Fracture Criterion from Mechanical Menu and OK. The Abacus software utilizes three criterions named BK Low, Power Low, and Reader Low in order to simulate VCCT. Here in this picture, you can observe the formulas of these three criterions. In this example, we use BK Low criterion that is actually the presupposition criterion of the Abacus software. Here G1C, G2C and G3C are the critical strain energy release rates, the quantities of which should be entered into the Abacus software. And you should enter the quantities of G1C, G2C and G3C in this section. Here in this picture you can observe mode 1, mode 2 and mode 3 all together. Mode 1 is the opening, mode 2 sliding shear and mode 3, mode 3 is called tearing shear. Click on create interaction, continue, select the upper support, done. Select the exterior surfaces which are in brown color. Select the upper composite, done. Select the upper surface that is in purple, purple color. Click on seed part. Enter approximate global size equal to 
0.002 meters. Then click on seed edge. Select these two lines. Done. Here select by number, then double. Enter the number of elements equal to 13 and bias ratio equal to 6 and OK. Then I will click on mesh part and yes, actually the meshing should be implemented in such a manner. Here you can observe the deformation of the model. Here we intend to draw these two diagrams in the Abacus software. The first diagram is titled G2 normalized. And the second one is named G2 divided by total G. and paste them in the Excel software. I will select this column and copy that. Well, here the quantities of G1, G2, G3, and G total were all obtained, and you can observe the related diagrams here G1, G2, and G3 diagrams. Here, as you observe, G2 diagram was drawn and the results gained are subjected to the results obtained from the article. The results gained from the Abacus software are correct and trustworthy. Here, G2 diagram divided by G based on percentage unit has been drawn. And as it can be observed, the results obtained are similar to those mentioned in the article.
the left diagram is related to this present diagram you observe here and the right diagram is pertinent to this other diagram.